So our first question this week is, how much college research did you do during the summer before your senior year of high school? And that's from Instagram, Owen.Travis underscore. Um, I did, I want to say, a decent amount of college research because that point I had gone on a few tours, done a few open houses, and the really important thing to me was that I had gone to the Young Writers Conference, which I think I talked about last time or maybe a couple podcasts ago, um, which was a conference at Champlain where students got to go and I got to meet the faculty and um, basically just be on campus. I got to stay over and sort of get into the college life, so I wanted to see more about the different schools that I was applying to and sort of understand what I was getting into, how it compared to my experience with Champlain. And I know it wasn't like a legitimate college thing uh, because it wasn't actual college classes. It was just little seminars. But I really liked that. So that kind of kicked me into high gear. I also wanted to narrow down the list of school, the list of schools I was applying to. I still had like I, when I was a freshman in high school, I was like, I'm going to Pepperdine. Hmm. And that never ended up in my application list. <laughs> but even that summer, I was still like, I'm going to Pepperdine, or I'm going to apply to Pepperdine. And I did not, because I had done more research into it. And they like, they're a good school, but they make you go to services every Sunday. And I was like, I don't even believe in that religion. So, no, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was... Kind of me kicking it into high gear. I don't know. How did you guys do research? Are you from Vermont? No, Boston. Boston? Yeah. Champlain, where's that at? That's up in Burlington, Vermont, but oh, okay. I left to go there. She had enough of Boston. Yeah. And then I came back. <laughs> and then she realized her mistake. Yeah. When you get up to Burlington, you do realize that kind of mistake. Love oh. you, Burlington. <laughs> it's a great place Shout out. to visit. <laughs> to visit, yeah. No, I, think, I uh, just visited there. Did you? Yeah. All right. Great nice. weekend. The, um, yeah, I think going back to the question for what, you know, did you do a lot of summer research, or research in the summer? Uh, when you say the word research, that makes me think of sitting behind a computer and doing my famous spreadsheets, if you listen to any of the podcasts. Uh, that research had already been done. So then when the summertime starts coming around, this is really the time that I did like college tours. Uh, so I basically made a roadmap, which is... Hopefully a feature that's going to come to College Express at some point. It's been in the works for a long time. But basically plans out if you're in the area, what is the shortest distance between the colleges. <laughs> and then you're able to drive from one college, visit it, go to the oh, next cool. college, and then come back. Yeah. And it gives you the shortest route. Uh, so that's basically what I had done. I mapped everything out. And I just started in New Hampshire. I ended up all the way up in Vermont and mm-hmm. Burlington. And then came back down. With that. I ended up in New York for a little bit, too, which RIT, crazy big school. And, um, Facts. yeah, yeah, it was uh, insane, especially when you look at it between uh, Champlain and Burlington, and then you go to Rochester and see how it's out of control. But that's uh, what I did, where it was, okay, here's the program that I wanted to get into, and here's all the schools in the area that offer it. I'm going to go, and we talked briefly last time yeah. on the podcast about how important actually going to the campus is, and if you can't go to it, do a virtual tour, mm-hmm. uh, if you can do it on a Oculus Rift or something like that, it's even better because you get more of a feel of it. So definitely try to get into that scenario uh, with the social media, connecting with the student that's there. You mentioned going up and actually staying there for the writer's program. Try to connect with the school and and amplify your research that you've Mm -hmm. already done because when you're going into senior year, that's really when everything's in high gear. And you decision want, time. You want to know. So this is, I would say, more important to get the right feel yeah. and be good rather than how much research we're doing. It's yeah. a more feel than research. So you guys were uh, planners and you're smart. I was a procrastinator. <laughs> so uh, I'd say the research came fall of senior year. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I did go to one school in Maine. I went to UMaine or now, and I stayed like the weekend because it was a five-hour drive there. Yeah. Um, so that was pretty nice because not only did I get to see the campus, but we went out in Orno as much as we could. There's not much in Orno. And, um, <laughs> so I got to see like, like the Burlington. city around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was nice. Um, but no, I had wished that I had done some more research. I had like ideas of schools I wanted to go mm-hmm. to, and I think I was nervous to stray too much. I kind of stayed in the New England area. I also didn't think I could go to school in the South. Like, my mom won't let me go down there. Turns out she would have let me go down there, so ask your parents. <laughs> <laughs> or don't, and do it anyway. Um, no, just apply. Ask your parents. Yeah, just apply, and then they'll be like, oh, you're going to school in Florida? Oh, yeah, you don't approve too late. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> Snooze, you lose. Yeah, but that's, you know, I really like the road trip idea. And we'll talk about later, like, things you can do during the summer no, yeah, that are, like, awesome fun. Idea, yeah, but seriously. College road I trip. I to do that. Yeah, well, flash forward to me being 30 now. And <laughs> wanting to do a road trip across the country to go to every theme park and mapping that up. So Brilliant. That's exactly what I was just about Is to say. Is there room in the car? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'll be, <laughs> be very tight, but we'll make it CX bus. <laughs> CX bus. Uh, yeah, CX bus. <laughs> Rent an, what, what, an, RV? an RV. What's the name of that movie? RV. Yeah. Is that literally? Is that literally <laughs> the name of the movie? <laughs> um, but wow. yeah, so like, <laughs> road trips good to one, do man. to do campus is <laughs> yeah. a uh, a really good like research thing. Um, also, doing programs. Oh, right, sure. um, yeah. I mean, the s- most Ivies I think have summer like pre college programs, and not just Ivies, but uh, other schools have like pre-college programs or programs that are on campus for students that aren't matriculated. So that's really good for you to go on campus. And even if you just take like a seminar or something like that at a community college or your local state school, um, then that way you're getting into it and you're starting to experience a little bit of college life and you're still open to like doing other fun stuff with your summer because who wants to sit in school for the whole summer? Nobody. That's why. <laughs> that's why I like. Well, there might be one person, maybe, not me. Is the school no, just like, air yeah. conditioning? All right, shout out. Yeah. Shout out to <laughs> but did you guys like know what program you guys wanted to go into going into your junior summer into senior for college? Year? I did. For college, yeah. yeah. I, I did. Carrie yeah. and I are kind of unique in that scenario. Yeah. You guys are doing it. Are you guys doing what you wanted to do? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Currently, they're in the program right now. Yeah. I wanted to be there. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm doing it. Clearly, he's doing it. I wanted to be a pirate, but they said that that was illegal, so... Oh, well. Next time. Next lifetime. Monday pirate. <laughs> you know what they say? Rules are just meant to be broken, right? Yeah. So, so be a pirate. Space pirate. <laughs> space pirate? There we go. Space pirate. I'm all about that. So, did you not know what you were going into? Like, No, I had no idea. Honestly, when I was... Uh, uh, when I was making my college decision, um, my mom actually did a lot of the research for me. And she basically, she's so she's so type A and I'm more like type B when it comes to that kind of stuff, the research stuff. And I, my, a lot of my time was taken up because I was playing uh, baseball over the summer. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, sounds bad to say I was prioritizing sports over the college church. But, you know, I was still involved. Me and my mom, we kind of double teamed it and we were figuring out just kind of like which schools that we're going to go into and I remember uh, the biggest influence that I had for myself I have two older cousins that are both twins and they were just going into college right about the time that I was going to high school so for me uh, they were having a conversation with my dad and I took one direct quote to heart they said that business is the degree you get if you don't really know what you want to do (laughs) so (laughs) I, being little old 14-year-old Brendan Pounds, decided, hmm, business is what I want to do. Why? Because I had no idea what I wanted to do. So I was looking up a bunch of different business schools, which is how I ended up at Bentley. And a lot of my college uh, visits, I ended up going to the three Bs, Babson, Brian, and Bentley. Those are my three Bs. For business. For business. For business. Yes, for business. Mm-hmm. Yes, for business. <laughs> yeah. Very, very distinct. But those for are Brendan. all New England. Yeah. Uh, for Brennan. Wow. Brennan only does things. <laughs> Keep that rolling. What else do we got? And he's baseball. And I play baseball. Yeah. And I like the Boston Red Sox. There you go. <laughs> and yeah, the Boston Bruins. Bruins. And the Bruins. Yeah, go Bruins. Shout so out. many days. Yeah. But, uh, so you said baseball, like a big summer, right? That's what you were doing for summer? Oh, yeah. Did you, when you went to college? Still kick with baseball or? Oh, see, that's the awkward part is no. I was, uh, I actually, that summer I went on a recruiting trip to Franklin Pierce and what it ultimately came down to for me personally was Franklin Pierce and potentially play baseball or Bentley. And I had sent all my recruiting stuff over to Franklin Pierce. I thought I was going to go to Franklin Pierce and then the financial aid package came in for Bentley. Yep. And I got cut from the Bentley baseball team. So, mm. did not. Sad story, but, you know, it is uh, is what it is. Still playing now, and it's it's fun. It's a lot of fun. We still want you on our wiffle ball team. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's coming out. Yeah. Wiffle ball. Next week. Yeah. Wiffle ball. We're next playing wiffle Tuesday. ball next week. Yeah. Yeah. Heck, yeah. 
So. I'm not very good at baseball, so that'll be interesting. But That's good. We'll be on Brendan's team. Oh, yeah. You, you <laughs> Completely different to be that good. But, yeah. yeah, we'll be on Brendan's team, and okay, then yeah. he can carry oh, the team guys, for us. You guys are just pumping my tires today. I really appreciate that. <laughs> pumping my tires. That's the first time I've ever heard that. I like that. It's a good one. Learning all the new lingo here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, but yeah, that summer was just the visits to the to those three bees. I really wish I did that that um, road trip idea that you were mentioning. That sounds like a ton of fun. Yeah, it's it's fun. Uh, it's awkward too uh, because at that point I was with my folks, uh, so it's who isn't when they're in high school, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, that, that's, that's what I mean. It's it's fun to a certain mile, and then it's pressure and oh, what do you think of this and a lot of questions get flown out. so that uh, is unique especially if you uh, are like me and uh, like for example RIT was one of those schools that we just drove through <laughs> and immediately it was like yeah, this is not <laughs> yeah. for me that ain't and, it uh, <laughs> we should at least go in and check it out and uh, was completely fine see my parents <laughs> did the opposite we drove on to UMass Dartmouth's campus and I said no and they were like, we drove all the way down here. It was like a half hour from where I live. Yeah. They're like, we drove all the way down all here, way. <laughs> so we're going to go to the open house. You're going to do all this stuff. And I walked on campus, and we went into the auditorium, and they did their presentation. And I was like, we're leaving because I'm not going here. Yeah. Well, when you know, you know. That's, yeah. That's true. Yeah. A big thing. Yeah. Time's valuable. How many schools did Which you go to on your road trip? Um, I'd have to check, but it was about... Seven to ten in that ballpark. Yes. Um, How far away did you look? Uh, well, we went all the way. Well, this was just for New England. So um, did you do outside of New England too? Not for the road trip. Um, we went out to California. That was. I'm trying to think when we did that. I don't think that was that summer. But I did travel to a few places just to check them out too, and that's because we had friends and family that lived out there. And uh, that ended up not happening either. And we talked about College Fit was, yeah. I think, our first podcast that we yeah. worked on. And that was one of the things on my College Fit was I wanted to be at least in driving distance back to my folks and being able to, my girlfriend and now my wife. Uh, Shout out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you'll be here today. <laughs> <laughs> but um, being able to come back on long weekends or on vacation easily instead of having to pay, you know, X amount yeah. for a pay ticket or plane ticket or pay ticket. <laughs> Here's your pay <laughs> <game> ticket. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, I feel like I visited a lot in person and really got the feel, which I mentioned earlier, yeah. is, is setting foot on campus or even just driving past it and being like, <laughs> nope. <laughs> for me. Drive on campus, then say, turn around. <laughs> yeah, window yeah. shopping. No one ever yeah. really buys when they go window shopping either. True. That's true. That's why you shop in the windows. You just so shop it sounds outside. like you went on no less than like 13 visits. Yeah, I'd say so. Probably, yeah, in the mid 20s, I think, all, overall for everything. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Uh, but again, I'm older than this group too, so like the web wasn't as big as it yeah. is now. So we had a lot of college fairs and pamphlets and Yeah, I feel like I around. did a lot too. I didn't go to as many schools as I like research, but I did go on a lot of school tours and. By the end of it, I was stock full of like bags and water bottles yeah, and freebies. flash drives, and I love all the free stuff. Thirty-two megabytes. I still got my St. Mike's bag. I use it every week for groceries. St. Yeah. Mike's was another one that the campus was beautiful, but yeah. just not. Oh, I liked St. Mike's. That was one of my other choices. It right. was like top four, I think. No kidding. Yeah. yeah, I know a lot of people that went to St. Mike's, but I think we talked. Again, you kind of have to when you live in Burlington because Colchester's right there, and mm -hmm. I lived in Spinner, which is right across right. the river, right next to St. Mike's. So, yeah. Did you go to the bowling alley up there? I did not go to the bowling alley until junior year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I spent a lot of time there senior year. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, that's where I would run into people that went to St. Mike's. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Here? Yep. How big was your guys' uh, the start of your search? How big was your list? Mm -hmm. Uh. That's a good question. I think because of how my spreadsheets worked out, I think I, I had quite quite a significant. No, we know about the spreadsheets. We know about the spreadsheets. <laughs> yeah, the spreadsheets are, are where it's at for sure. But I, yeah, I organization have... tips, spreadsheets, you guys definitely put a doll Excel doc or Google Sheets, whatever you prefer. Yeah, no, I got the Google yeah. Sheet. Um, 
but yeah, I had I had quite a significant amount initially, but then yeah, as it starts cutting things down, especially going through and sorting through the college fair stuff that you get, being like, oh, this sounds interesting. They offer the program that I have. I think that's my biggest issue was I knew what I wanted to do, and so I would just go up and figure out, do you offer this program? Grab a pamphlet and then take it from there. So originally it was like a stack of papers. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah. How much marketing collateral did you get? And did, was that list basically everyone on that marketing collateral that you got from in the mail? Because you went on 25 visits, can only imagine how big your actual list was to start. Yeah. Uh, well, it's funny too because working at College <laughs> Express, if you are uh, aware, if you sign up and you select <laughs> you to receive information from the school, says yes, connect me is a big green button on all of our school profiles. Uh, I was not on the testing server, and I did that with my personal email. Uh, so I still get collateral for uh, <laughs> yeah. the, the schools, which is nice because I can actually keep up and see what schools are doing now. But uh, yeah, that's uh, you just get flooded with Fact. with uh, material, and even um, now they'll even ask for your cell phone number, and they'll text you and say, "Hey, you're interested in an event." Uh, they'll email you, and they'll they'll do anything and everything to try to get in contact and really showcase what makes their school so special. So yeah, that's kind of my up. job. Yeah. <laughs> I messed up my Scantron or they messed up my Scantron or something on the PSAT. So for a year, I got letters addressed to Ka Joyce. And oh, I'm, like, I'm with you. I'm with you. It was. Like, I didn't go to any of those schools. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm with you. They, they called me Breedan. <laughs> Breedan? Breedan. With two E's? No, it was, well, I think I just I think just oh, there's no end. Yeah, there there's no, or they might have also forgot the A, but yeah. never have I ever received a college letter that had my name spelled correctly on it. But I don't understand. That. I always get asked if there's an H in my name, Mackenzie. I'm like, where would there be an H? Yeah, like, I was Mackenzie. I'm like, I'm, I spell it M A C K E N Z E N Z I E. Where's like, Where's the H fit so, in? Why is there a K? Mackenzie. Should it be an H? I'm like an H. That'd be match Mackenzie. 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 Oh, I guess I, I get I, I get it. I guess so. pronounce it like that, but uh, I get it. Be careful when <laughs> you scan <laughs> Tron. Is, is is the summary here? Be careful where you fill in the bubbles. Fill them in completely and as darkly as possible. Yeah. All capital letters. Yeah. So is the group consensus that was it the summer before senior year is mostly college visits? Yeah. Have done the research usually. For the most part. It's mainly sometimes. just narrowing down the schools. I think you wanted to because you don't get that much time off in high school, like depending yeah. on the school, yeah. for visits. Um, so it's kind of hard to go throughout the year. Mm -hmm. But I did that. It was kind of nice because you could see the kids on campus. But also if you go like later in the summer, like August, mm -hmm. yeah. some kids are on campus, like the sports yeah. kids or some kids go back early. So you can go to that and see kids. Did your school yeah. give you like a lot of time off to go on to college visits? You gotta take um, two days off. Yeah, we got two in days the off. year for college visits. Yeah. How many did you have? I think it was like between three or five. <sighs> That's nice. Yeah, they were. Yeah, Milford, Milford High. Shout out. Did did good. Did good. <laughs> not gonna say my high school one. Did well. Sorry. Did well. <laughs> <laughs> Their English department did not do well. <laughs> <laughs> I went into marketing, not English. You guys. <laughs> That's okay. That's why I'm here. <laughs>